Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to Final Fantasy III. It's some water. And yes. Oh no! Are we turning ourselves into toads again? Yes, we are! Oh, suck it up. It's for like a minute. Besides, at least this time we, you know, actually brought potions, so... I mean, that's a hell of a bonus. And we're frogs. And we're in. Subterranean Lake. Okay. So we are looking for Guts Go. It is late at night, and it is really hot in here. I do not like it. Still, shouldn't be too bad. I think I'm going to be just fine. Though it does depend on what's down here. All right, it's bombs! That classic, classic Final Fantasy enemy, Da Bomb. Ooh, Lunith, I like the new weapon, buddy. Uh, Bob, once your job level gets up a little more, uh, we're actually gonna take those Sonic Knuckles off of you. Because you're just not gonna need them anymore. Actually, let's see here. So... 56? Oh! Nope, we passed that moment just recently. Okay! She is now officially up to stronger attack using only her bare fists. As we always knew would happen. Because Sweet Bob loves to punch things to death. Uh, I... do not like that. Uh, can we bust out some double blizzard action? Thank you, Bob. Alright. So, their normal attacks... are not too bad right now. I think we're going to be just fine. Okay. Uh, still nothing of note in here. Ugh, really? Alright, we'll just do exactly the same thing. Um, I'm actually at the point in the game now where I have enough MP that I really don't need to worry all that much about conserving. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just in a good spot, really. Thank you, Iggy. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Lunith. And, Bob, your fists have gone up in power yet again to 62. My goodness, girl. You are really strong. Luckily, there's not too much treasure down here, and all the treasure that is here is just right along the main paths. Okay, I, I know I said I don't mind this, but I don't want to use up all of my magic by continuously running into groups of three bombs. So, if you could maybe give me a little more variety, you know, or at least go back to groups that aren't three... They're, they're picking on Blep again. 
they are picking on Blep again. Does going up a regular level increase your fist strength? No, it does not. Okay, only job level. Damn it, Blep. Just... why? Why do you make all the bad guys want to beat up you specifically and, again, three bombs? I... I do not understand. Holy crap, that hurts. And again... What the hell? Three attacks and all three of them hit Blap. What the hell? Did they just have an AI to target the person with the lowest HP? Do they just pointedly target casters over non-casters? What is going on? I sincerely feel like Blep should not be getting this much crap kicked out of him. Fine. Phoenix down. Whatever. Eating up all my potions, Blep. Gee, is it three bombs? Oh my god, it's not bombs at all. It's... Stalagmites. Okay. I think that... This game and I have... Slightly... Different ideas of what a stalagmite is. Because I'm not entirely sure what these are. But I'm fairly confident that they are not stalagmites. Yeesh. Okay. Thank you, Blep for not getting your butt kicked again. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, same actions. No need to change this current system. Not bad, not bad. Easy enough. And a gold needle. Ooh. Interesting. So what do sphinxes do? Oh! Oh, they petrify and they can use blizzard. Okay. That's what all the gold needles were for. Um... Can you please get Bob? These manticores are being problematic. Please kill it, Blood. Thank you, sir. Glad to have you on board. Okay, and 3,000, 3,000, and the boss is just up ahead. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm sure I can handle whatever that is. Ooh! Interesting. Um, a 
Let's drop a lightning on it and see how that goes. Oh, or that. That works too. Good job, Bob. Well, I'm fairly confident that, that thing's dead. Yeah, that... that definitely looked like dead. Okay. Hello? Guts go the rogue. Go away! Scat! Skittle! Skibobble! The horn is mine! Mine, I tell you! Uh... Ooh! Hello, buddy! Don't you have an interesting little appearance? Alright. Um... I have no idea what you might be weak to. And I didn't put Libra on to Luna, so I can't find out. So I guess we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. And I'm sure you get double attacks. Yes, you do. So, you can hit for a hundred on my thief. How about ice? Okay, that's pretty good. Steel. Alright, we got a high potion. One thing I do not know from this game is if you successfully steal from an enemy, if you can still steal from other tiers. Uh, but I can't find out right now, because Iggy's job level isn't high enough, I believe, to be able to um, steal from anything but the bottom tier yet. I think. I looked at the table a while back. Alright, what does Thunder do to you? Mm, no real appreciable difference. What about fire? Would fire work better against you? Uh, we're pretty much fully healed, so go ahead and drop that. Is this all you- oh! Oh! He cast it on everyone. Okay, alright, good. I was actually kind of worried there that I was going to lose uh, my physical attackers to that many. Are you weak to fire? Mm, still no appreciable difference, so... I guess we will just... Actually, the chances of getting attacked are fairly high, so we're just going to go with retaliate. And that works like a counter. If Bob gets hit with an attack, then she'll strike back uh, tougher. It's tougher than a regular attack, at least. So, let. Oh, come on, man. The one turn he doesn't attack us twice, and it's because he wanted to cure himself. Yeah. Great job there, jerk. Still, I will give him points for not trying to beat up Blap. I'm going to try the Retaliate again. I haven't really seen it go off, so I'm not sure exactly how powerful it might be. Come on, get him, Blap. Good work, Blap. Good job, Lunith. We're all very proud of you. Don't you dare. Okay, so Bob's just gonna go back on attacking then. There's. Uh, let's try poison. There's no point in, uh, wasting my time on retaliation. Just watch him attack Bob twice now. 
Because one thing I do know about Retaliate is that if they are attacked multiple times in a turn after they use Retaliate... Really. Really. The only person affected by the mini-spell was Bob. Damn it, Bob. Alright, Lunith, ju just attack, okay? We... We gotta do something with this guy. We need to drop him. He's got a good amount of HP. I will give him that. Thank you, Lunith. Uh, apparently Lunith just went in for the, uh, went in to steal the kill. Not really a cool move, bro. Bob gets even stronger. Excellent. Obtained Horn of Ice. Vanished. Anyway, let's bring the horn back to the dwarves. <sighs> Do I not get a teleport out? No, but luckily I invested in the teleport spell, so... Uh, there appears to be a shadow chasing me. So, this is obviously a trap. 100% obvious trap. Lally ho, lally ho! Thank you for returning the horn! Uh, put it back on the shrine behind the other! I'll take the war, I'll take down the war! Here we go, lally ho! You can approach the shrine now and put the horn back where it belongs. I went through like six different voices during that dialogue. Look, I am really drunk, I have no idea where I'm from. Sweet. Ha <laughs> ha I was disguised as your shadow. Thanks for leading me up to the shrine. Okay, so... Now both horns are mine. Let me get this straight. You stole the first horn. So you were already here. But didn't grab both of them even though you need both of them. What? How'd you do that? And why do you keep stealing the horns in the first place? You silly twits. These are the horns of ice. Wards against the fire crystal's flame. They are the key to the tunnel leading to the crystal. Now that I have them both, the power of the crystal of fire is mine. MINE! Lally ho! Now both have been stolen! Gutsko must have gone to the mountain to the north. Please take the horns back from that scoundrel. Yeah, I suppose I can do that. Yes, I would like to rest here. So, one thing that I very, very much remember is that the boss of this next dungeon is an absolute pain. You know, I'm going to make sure that I have a decent supply of curatives for just about everything. And... Yeah, we're gonna put the Libra spell on to you. I 
I really don't like that I am going into this dungeon with um no, I only have job level 4 with the white mage, so I'm really not going to get any extra uses of Cura, which is what I would really need for this next fight. Hmm. I'm just going to have to conserve and fight very, very carefully, I think. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what else I can do, honestly. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of damage going out in this next dungeon. And I genuinely <sighs> you know You know what? I think it is worth grinding up a few job levels. So I will be right back. Alright! I am back. And now... I am prepared. Everybody gained an extra three job levels. Uh, Bob's now in front with a massive attack of 74 points. I didn't actually gain any extra uses of Kira, but... You know, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, hello there! Hmm. That is a problem. I don't know how much Bob can do to that. Holy crap, Iggy! Damn! Whoa, gee! Okay! Um... Well... My... My spell damage seems to have gone up. Seriously, I only gained, like, it was either three, maybe four job levels a person. <laughs> I did not expect it to increase their outputs this much. That's kind of ridiculous. Holy crap, Iggy. Holy crap, monster. Alright, how much can he hit for, Bob? That's respectable. That is absolutely respectable. All right, good job, Blup. Not bad, Luneth. So what are these? Crocodas. Crocodas? Crocodile otters, obviously. All the cuddliness of a crocodile and uh, all the ferocity of an otter. Thank you, Bob. And... Now we're gonna hurt. But, on the plus side... Oh, crap. I was going to say, I don't think there's random encounters in the lava. There are definitely red encounter monster encounters in the lava. Crap. 
I... I am making an effort to conserve all of Lunith's spells for healing. And with Blep, I definitely do not want to be using... <sighs> Blep didn't get any extra level 3s either. I really, really, really need to conserve that stuff for the boss. Um, the boss here is really tough. I think it's got 25 to 30 percent more health than Gutsko did, and we were fighting Gutsko for a while. Although, to be fair, I don't think Gutsko actually had an elemental weakness, and the next boss we're going up against has a definite weakness to ice. Uh, but unfortunately, it also puts out a crap load of damage. And I'm going to keep hyping up the boss, because... The law of the comedy of errors suggests that the more I hype up the boss, the more it will not threaten me, and then I just look silly or stupid. And you know what? I am okay with that. I am okay with looking silly and stupid if it means that this next boss fight goes smoothly. And I am just realizing that I did not save before I went into this cave. I'm not actually sure when the last time I saved was. Uh, probably just before I went into the underground lake. That sucks. Really, it dropped an Antarctic wind. Hmm. Alright. Alright, it dropped a freezing blade. So, holy crap, that is strong. And, you know what? We're actually going to go with, uh, with a shield today. We need it. Lunith is my healer. Actually, we're... No. We, we will put Lunith... Actually, before the next boss, I definitely want to put Lunith into the back row. What I am wondering is, am I confident enough in my survivability that I would want to put Bob or Iggy in the back row, too. Mm. I might do that, and then just rely on elemental damage items? I mean, I've got... Um, what do I have right now? Three Antarctic winds? Um... Well... That's not... Great. But it is better than nothing. You know... I don't know. I... I will take an account before I fight the boss. That is when I will make my decision. Hello, Marshmallow. I'm going to drop some, uh, stuff on your face. It's just a shame that the second best sword I can put on Lunith right now deals fire damage. 
just really not worth it in this environment. Yeah, just auto. Just do it again. All these fights are basically gonna go the same way for a while. Thank you, Lunith. Now, was that what would get you the third Kira? No, it didn't. Okay. There's a high potion down here. I want it. And... There we go. Couple potions for everybody. Then if I follow this lava path all the way up, I will find a phoenix down, which I really want. Thank you, Iggy. Thank you, Blep. Thank you, Bob. Right. Perfect. Good job, Bob. Good job, Iggy. Good job, Blep. Very, very proud of you today, Blep. Uh, you're not the sole focus of all the enemies I are for once. Ooh. A Myrmacolian. Myrmacolian. There's another name that's never come across my desk in my years of being a, a mythology enthusiast. Myrmicolian. That's a weird one. Alright, down we go. Let's drop some more potions. I bought 99 potions, I'm gonna use 99 potions. Oh, you silly little creatures. Haven't you seen what I did to all your buddies upstairs? They're dead! Yeah. They died quite horribly. It was slightly sad for them, probably. I honestly didn't care at all. <sighs> the encounter rate for movement in this game is just... too high sometimes. But, you know... That's what you're going to get when you're playing a game that's a remake of an NES game. Okay, that was... That was just absurd. There was no rational reason why I should have gotten three encounters from the staircase to here. Okay. See, there's the blap we know and love, taking hits for the team. Impact Claws. Okay, a Bob weapon. Uh, nope. Even those plus Sonic Claws, even two Impact Claws would not match the power of her fists. Another simple fight. Good job on the ice staff. Ow. Excellent work. Thank you, Bob. You damn turtle. Thank you. That's another Antarctic wind. That, oh, yeah. That's not a suspiciously conspicuous rock at the end of a dead end. Obviously, this must be 
A foul trap, and the cave goes nowhere at all. Surely that is the only explanation. Either that or the rock is a switch that'll open up my path further, but... I mean, what are the chances of that, right? Thank you, Bob. Your power increases. Iggy, I'm very proud of you. Good job, everybody. There we go. Lunith, did you finally get a third slot for Kira? Really? Still no? Wow. Okay. This is the boss room. We can hear the crystal music. Let's take stock of what I have access to. We've got two Zeus's Wraths, four Antarctic Winds, I am in a pretty good position right now. So, Luneth is gonna go into the back row. Um... We're gonna throw Iggy into the back row, too. Um, yeah, hopefully Bob can do something good. God, I hope I don't die. Ha <laughs> ha! I have the power of fire! I can feel it coursing through my veins! It kind of burns. I probably should have expected that. But it's not enough. I must defeat you, those who have been blessed with the light, to gain the true power of the Crystal of Fire. No, die. Bring it on, Gutsko. We beat you once. We can do it again. Gutsko attacks you. Ah, nope, we are not doing the auto battle things here. So Gutsko has turned into an adorably bug-eyed salamander. Iggy's going to open up with trying to steal. Flap's going to open up with blizzard. And... Yeah, let's do a Libra. Let's see what we're up against here. And if Bob gets attacked, they'll retaliate. No successful steal. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Alright. So it looks like he's just doing two attacks. Uh, Blizzara is definitely putting out a ton of damage. Salamander won't tell me it's HP, weakness to ice and water. Great! Will not tell me it's weakness, or will not tell me it's HP. Literally the only reason I would have tried to use that spell. And we stole his high potion, so now Iggy can drop some Antarctic winds. Oof, that hurt. So, my main goal here is just to drop this thing as fast as I can before it can start putting out a lot of area damage. I still have two uses of Cura, which can keep me pretty well topped up. 
and Iggy can deal good damage with those Antarctic Winds. I'll actually put Bob on Antarctic Winds as well. That's going to do more than her fists until I run out. This guy's about to drop some fire attack on me, isn't he? Ouch. Okay, or not. Or he's just gonna sit there beating up uh, Blep. Is it the name? Do they just hear me calling him Blep and think to themselves, Man, that guy sounds like a loser. I'm gonna beat him up. Is that what's going on here? Because I could see that being the case, and I wouldn't even really blame them. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Holy crap! Are you kidding? That is way more damage than I can heal through. Alright, well, I just gotta pray that I can kill it before we get more fire breath. Don't hit blap, don't hit blap. Oh, thank you for not hitting Blep. Sir, I am grateful. Alright, how much does that do to a... across the group? Okay. That's pretty good. We're out of Antarctic winds, but we can start dropping Zeus's Wraths. Keep dropping blizzards on him. And keep casting as much cure as I can. Come on, Bob. Show him your strength. Alright, that's respectable. That, on the other hand, is not as good as I had hoped. Crap. Um... Damn it. I wish very much that that Libra had worked, so I could have kept track of its HP! Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, I made it. I made it. I made it. Everything's okay now. Good job, Bob. Good job, Iggy. Good job, Blap. You defeated Gutsko. You obtained the Horns of Ice. But there is a far more important prize. That must be the Fire Crystal. Warriors of the Light. I bless you with the light contained within my eternal flames. Bringers of equilibrium, you must restore the light of hope lost from this world. You have been blessed with the power of fire. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell does that mean, I've been blessed with the power of fire? Well... What that means... is that I have unlocked... several new jobs. Ranger. Knight. Scholar. 
and Geomancer. Hell yes. I look forward to showing off what these uh, new jobs are able to do. And I will see you all on the next one.